everybody, YouTube, it's Moto Madman. I'm just out running around. I'm ready to head back from Chardon. And it made me think of something. Something that I hadn't talked about before. And that is Ohio and the bike life. And of course, everybody knows we got crappy weather. No surprise. Crappy weather in the wintertime. Makes riding in the wintertime suck. But strangely enough, we have and have had several bike builders here in this area. Um, a few years back when they used to do the Great Biker Build-Off, there were a couple of guys from the area. Uh, they called themselves Leroy Thompson. They're no longer building bikes. I think one of the guys became a comic book illustrator. But anyway, they, did, they competed in that. And they were younger guys. And they won. Um, and Leroy Thompson, they got their name from Leroy Thompson because there are two towns here, Leroy and Thompson, and the road that connects the two is Leroy Thompson. Um, but that's where they got that's where they got their name. Um, also, there there's some others, but since we're riding through Chardon. The one that comes to mind right off is based here in Chardon. And his name is Jesse Serpan. And he's the founder and owner of Raw Iron Choppers. He has also was on one of those great biker build-off type shows and won as well. And I want to say at the time he won, he was uh, like 20 maybe and he's still going strong um, along with that he teaches welding now um, but he's based here in Chardon and Raw Iron Choppers not only won the Great Biker build off but Raw Iron Choppers have won several awards um, they enter most years they'll enter bikes in the um, show portion of the uh, progressive to interna international motorcycle show and I want to say last year not the one in 2019 not the one that just passed but like 2018 or 2017 they take the winners from each of the stops on the international, the Progressive International Motorcycle Show, and the winners of all of them then compete in the last show of the year. And he won the whole thing. Now, he creates all kinds of bikes. He, he has interest in in everything you know he's one of those those motorcyclists that you know what's cool is cool you know it doesn't have to be harley based he makes choppers and bobbers and cafe bikes and stuff like that out of uh metric bikes as well Um, but he makes a lot of, a lot of bikes that I really like, like old school looking bikes. Um, but he makes a lot of cool stuff and I'm going to try to throw up on this video well actually not throw up but put up on the video um, some pictures of some of his some of his bikes that he's built 
and and whatnot and um, he does have a, a channel on on YouTube um, I don't know why this guy's hugging the white line um, he also uh, Raw Iron Choppers is also a good um, Instagram follow as well. Um, you know, so like I said, you know, I, I, I recommend checking it out. Um, some of his stuff on YouTube, it's not necessarily like him building a bike. It's him talking about it, um, being interviewed, some things like that. Uh, where I was gonna turn but I can't follow this guy anymore um, but you know it it's one of those things that I guess you could find it kind of surprising I mean Chardon is a small town I mean a really small town I'll be honest with you, if you go on online and you Google Chardon, Ohio, unfortunately, probably the first thing that comes up is there was a high school shooting at Chardon High School uh, a few years back um, in February. Um, and, and that's probably going to be the first thing that comes up. It, you may, it may pop up the Maple Syrup Festival. Um, but most likely, unfortunately, what's going to come up is the, the school shooting. Um, but it is, it, is a, it is a small town. Um, you know, it's big town for, compared to the town that I currently live in. But it is a small, it is a small town. Are you going to go or are you going to... Oh, you're going to sit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. But... It's, it's amazing what what this guy has done from this this small town I mean he's got all kinds of international acclaim from the bikes that he's built um, you know met uh, got to meet uh, you know the, the the big builders the you know Arlen Ness and Jesse James and, and so forth um, through building these bikes and he's in this small little town here in Chardon, Ohio. And like I said, it's it's a great it's a great story. The the bikes he makes are phenomenal. It, it's one of those things you, you gotta gotta go online and check out his webpage and his YouTube channel to see some of these bikes. Especially if, if you're into custom bikes and choppers and bobbers and, and stuff like that and by choppers I, I i don't mean some of the ridiculous choppers that that you see i mean he's not building choppers that look like fire trucks and stuff like that i mean this is cool old school kind of chopper building the jesse james the indian larry kind of stuff um you got to check it out. I, I'm, I'm hoping, probably not going to happen, but I'd really like... Hey everybody, I don't know what happened, but for some reason the recording stopped, so I guess I'll pretty much end it here. Um, but I encourage everybody to, to take a look at, at the work that uh, Jesse has done there at Raw Iron Choppers. But anyway, you know, as always, uh, if you get out on twos, keep the shiny side up, the rubber side down. Um, if you like what you see, click the like and the subscribe button and make sure you punch that bell so you get notifications whenever I upload any new content. Um, and also, as always, I, I love getting comments and feedback uh, down in the comments section. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, take a look at uh, the stuff that, that 
uh, chassis is done, the bikes that he's built, and and let me know what you think. You know, maybe take a look at it, and if there's one you if there's one of the bikes he's built that you like, you know, let me know in the comments um, what you think is cool. But anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Um, sorry for the having to do the voiceover. Um, like I said, I, I don't know what happened. It, it just shut off. There was actually still room left on the SD card, so I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, everybody have a great day.